Oh, cute. Bit tired, eh, cat? Puss, 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 puss. Puss, puss. Oh, so cute. Hey, viewers, I'm going to move on to my next farm switch for now. This is an old Cist FR Sorter SA Electrical Apparatus Manufacturing Works, Basel, Switzerland. FR Sorter. That's uh, the maker. Supplied by Siemens Australia. So number 898875. Type SW30, 25 amp, 230 volts. Obviously 50 hertz. 230 volts again. I'll just put it on the table carefully and bumped it slightly. And the escapement's working. So I'm gonna give this thing a good lubrication, a good check up uh, over before I power it up. Got property of the State Electricity Commission of Victoria, tire switch number NE Northeast 509. So you undo this, so a temper, any temper so it goes through there and through there and locks it. Now look at this before off camera. It's a pretty unique time switch, this one. It's all brass pins holding the glass window in with some. Uh, that's Kevlar, I think. Very well made, and it smells antique. Doesn't smell burnt, just smells um, fresh lacquer. It's a good sign. So, uh, shouldn't be um, too hard to restore this one. There's a contact there. I can do it a little bit of a clean. Right, I'll undo that, lift the top off. See what it looks like inside. Okay, viewers, I've got the cover off, and I tell the cover off. This has had a partial restoration job. Someone's uh, cleaned it prior to putting it on the display. And it looks like it's had a maybe a light paint job on it. You can see where they've um, kind of overdone it. I would have brushed this and half the markings have come off. Here's the inside of the tom switch. I've never seen a motor quite like that before. Looks like a shaded pole motor. Interesting. Never really um. They'll use this, uh, this sort of motor when a time switch. I thought the always is a, syn uh, a synchro motor. See if it actually turns. Yep. Turns quite well. Turns quite well. It's a 24 hour uh, time switch. On off. So you got Red must be for the daytime, and the black must be for night. Yeah, because it's got the indicator here. The black being the night hours, and red on this side is a daytime. And there's a little uh, minute hand there, minutes of the hour. That's kind of interesting. Looks like a proper bloody watch had a built this. And it's got little things you screw in there somewhere. Oh, this must come off and that screws into one of these I think on, on this one here so it's a special trigger for something which goes and I hit that which closes the contacts and opens it now the off one is further down so I must go down here only goes one way so I'm going to have to hit Behind there to turn it off. There you go. Pushes up behind there and the on one comes around, hits on this end, closes it, and it turns it on. Very well made little time switch. And there's your adjuster to make it faster or slower. Alright, let's um do some quick checks. So we can uh Power it up. It's a very unique motor. Okay, if you always did some quick checks, motor owned up okay, no arm um, short. Earth, safety first, that's the earthing point there. I did an earth check. The chassis is completely earth, everything's working fine there. Alright, let's uh, give it a quick test. Beep. 
Interesting. A very unique how this one works. There's a little ratchet wheel in there. I wonder if that's the other escapement um, drive there. That winds it up. A bit of light in there, might be able to see that little wheel turning. A bit hard to see in the camera. The camera might pick it up. Yeah, I might have to lubricate this one. A little bit too noisy. Turn the power off. Yeah, because. You can hear it winding the escapement up there. Alright, I might have to give this one a little bit of a little bit. I'll just unplug safety first. Just give it a quick uh, feel of that loader. Turns very, that turns freely. Not even warm. Yeah, it turns quite well. It's just noisy. Not gummed up or anything, so turn it back on. Sounds a bit like a DC motor. And the car might pick it up a little gear in there. There you go. It's a very unique switch. That's slowing down. I think it must wind up its escapement. Not it lets it run out. Yeah, it does too. So this does not run continuous. So when the um, escapement runs out, the motor kicks in, winds it back up in time just to keep it um, in sync with time. That's very interesting. Hey. Never um, come across one of these time switches before. She seems to be working quite well, all right. I just turn the power, or I don't need to turn the power off, but it is earth properly. I did test it. It's all earth, so I'm going to set the time now. Let it run for a bit and see how well it keeps track of its time. So there you go. This motor does not run continuously. Okay, it's 1.37. So it's on the 20 past. So I'm going to go around to 13. Triggered off. 11, 12. There you go. Now it's got to be on a, that, I don't know how that's got to be set there. You can't actually adjust that one. Interesting. 20 past the hour, but it's actually uh, 22 the next hour. 20 to 2 it is. It's between there. actually grab it from these and turn it from there. Hmm. I'll have to set it up to get it exactly on time so this is synchronized and see how well it keeps track of time but we'll let it run for a bit and see how well it runs. There you go, I've never come across a time switch like this before so we'll turn the power off. Back on. It's uh the escapement's holding the motor off so the switch only turns that motor on when it runs out of uh wind. Very interesting. Might do a bit of a restoration, just do a bit of a dust off, give it a polish, make it look nice and shiny. Uh, if you also gave it a good clean, got most of the dust and muck off it. It's a Kevlar seal there. Most of that came off. Look, came out looking quite well. There's a the back of it. It's like a bloody um proper tin can that I made this. Very well made. And probably date, I reckon mid to late 30s this was made. There's no date in it. So the um, bloody schematic the wiring diagram is gone. That's so what the date would normally be. But, yeah, as I said before, it's very unique. This is a um, shutter pole motor to wind up the escapement when, it, when needed. Then de-energizes completely. Then it uses the escapement to do all the work. 
never come across a task switch like that before. <coughs> Excuse me. It's uh, not a weight change, I don't think, because it doesn't have the um, uh, day of the week wheel on it. So far, I think it's keeping check of time quite well. Yep. All moves quite freely. It's just turned off, so I've got to turn it, so it's going to turn on again at. So about 9.45 it will turn on again tonight. Didn't off at 5 in the morning. So it must be just an old tower that this has been programmed into. Yeah, yeah, it's half past the hour there. Another little pin there. Hmm. Seems to move quite freely then uh, freely the mechanism. But we'll see how it goes, if it um, slows down too much, I might have to um, just get the mechanism apart carefully and just put a bit of a silicon spray to help keep it free so it doesn't um, seize up. There's contact still a bit of a clean there, might give those a bit of a clean. Now I'll put the cover back on. I won't worry about those contacts at this stage. It's mainly be used as a clock at the moment. And this has also got a Kevlar seal around there. Very interesting. Oh, yeah, that's got to go on, and that little clip goes and holds it on. So that's got to go in there. And that goes underneath there. Inside on just before the thread stops it from coming all the way out. Okay, if you want to turn my covers back on, it's got this um, Sam set up as my uh, LG little um, what I made a shape before, a little um, one made by a chain blade and a hook em. It's got the same sort of a uh, style anti tamper seal there in the terminal cover. Just go through that little um, hole, through there, back down through there. Interesting. Seems to be keeping track of time quite well so far. Well, we also had to be enough for now, so thanks for watching.